everybody. So happy Friday. Um, so I wanted to leave a quick message because I know it um, it hit the airwaves that Levon and I, we um, called off our wedding. And um, it really, really warms my heart how invested all of you are in just me finding love and my happiness. Um, I will say that I have seen a couple of things and I just want to make this very, very clear. We have mutually called everything off nothing happened he did not cheat on me i didn't cheat on him it was just distance and it was just honestly it was becoming difficult but we still work together we're still friends i'm still gonna support his business um he still supports mine and um that's it we're just really in a good positive space and um, I just wanted to share that with all of you before rumors start swirling around what happened, what could have happened. We're good. We're really good friends. I'm always going to love and care for Levon. Um, and that's just what it is. My family is and, and we're always going to be friends. We experience something. Um, unfortunately, it's public, but um, we're in a good happy uh, uh place and um i'm really really glad that we met each other and that um yeah like it, it doesn't end with just the relationship like you know we've created a bond that um i'm honestly grateful for so um so yeah just needed to let y'all know on this friday have a good day i love you guys bye Evelyn Lozada has taken it to her Instagram live to reveal the cause of breakup from Louis Le Le Lovan. And Evelyn and Lovan got engaged in the first season finale of the series You Know the Peacock's Queen Scott, which aired in March. And Evelyn and her Queen Scott finalist Lovan, they have ended their engagement finally. And the basketball world star revealed the pair are no longer together after getting engaged on their first season finale of the peak of reality series which aired in march and i'm just gonna quote how it said so things went on so fast six months later we were engaged and i just felt a little bit of disconnect and the distance he lives in atlanta but that was another thing that was really, really difficult. He has a son, that is, I believe, in his first year of high school or going to high school. It was a lot of moving parts and it just started becoming difficult. And I was like, just, I don't want to keep this going just for the world. And the reality start noted that if a relationship doesn't feel 100%, it just doesn't feel 100%. In her situation, she explained that she and Lewis are from two different places. I'm from Bronx, New York, and he's from Alabama. So there was a little disconnect there too. And Lozanda admitted that having limited time with the contestants on Queen's Court also played a role in the couple split explaining. Everything's going fast. You are asking one million and one questions when you are going when you are dating these different guys on the show and we try to spend as much time as we could he will travel to LA at least once a month and she added that she felt anxiety while wedding planning due to her brief marriage to the NFL player Chad Johnson in 2012 she said that i was married before i was a newlywed and a divorcee at the same time i divorced 42 days later so I didn't know what was what I was going to have anxiety about getting married again. I felt like it's deep rooted. I feel like definitely connected to the incident, that marriage which I've done therapy for. But now it's kind of like I'm digging this back, the whole wedding, and that was hard. It was a difficult time for me. I got married on the fourth of July, and by the time August came, I was already filing for divorce. And Lozada revealed that the split will play out on the new season of Basketball Wives after she returned to the show following a two-year. She admitted she was crying with 
joining at her event because that was the beginning of the end of my relationship with him. And Lausanne and Lewy got engaged in the first season finale of Queen's Court, which also saw Jeremy Robin pop the question to Tamara Braxton. The couple also confirmed their split earlier this month. And Lozada didn't expect the proposal, even though she and Levy talked in the past about trying tying the knot previously, telling people, I don't know what he was going to propose on that day. So apparently the two have called it a bit on the engagement. And we just want to know what you think about this whole story in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe on our channel. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.